Hello and welcome to this Blender tutorial. My name is Emmanuel Okafo and today I will be showing you guys how to create an iRig inside Blender. So this tutorial came up because of a request you guys made in the comment. So if you have any questions or if you have any particular subject you want to learn about, you can just leave it in the comment and I will tackle it. So, um, so this is what we should be ending up with a rig whereby I'll just hide this head and hide this guy so we can see. So selecting just the rig, you can move it about like this. Okay. And uh, you can also move the individual eye rig. So let's set that up. So what we'll be working with is, uh, we have a lens eye um, object we also have for the pupil so that's how i create my eyes uh, so we'll be rigging it to eyes so it works efficiently um so let's hide that one and let's work just on this one then we can transfer every information into the other one so uh, let's create our bone before that let's select this particular object you can box select it and Shift S, cursor to select it. Um, now we can add our armature and it's going to be placed right in the middle of the object. So we can set it in front and also switch the display type to wire. So selecting the tip of the bone, we press Shift S, selection to cursor. So we can now extrude it um, this direction. So we want to make sure the bone is right in the center of the eye object so that you can have a very nice rotation. Um, so once you're done with this, uh, let's extrude this upwards and then alt parent it, that's alt P, clear parent. And you want to move it, you want to move it far from the bone. Okay, um, so let's set up the constraint. So this bone is going to just drive the constraint for this particular bone. So the way you set it up is select this bone and shift select this one and press shift I for to add your IK bone. And then in the constraint tab, you want to, for the chain length, you want to set it to one. So it just affects the that eye bone. So it doesn't extend to the head or the neck. Um, so once you do that, you can see we already have it working. So let's um, duplicate this particular setup to the other eyes. A quick way to do that is to select the two mesh, um, the two object and press shift S, then you do cursor to select it. So the cursor is set right in the middle of the object. You want to mirror. Then we can switch the pivot type to 3D cursor. Okay. So when we rotate this mesh, it's rotating from the 3D cursor. Um, now we can duplicate this object. Then this is a trick to mirror any object. You press rotate scale X negative one. So it's going to flip that bone to the other side. Okay. So once you do that, we now have um, the exact copy of the constraint we created. Um, so let's say um, so now we want another bone that can control these two bones so we can just move one bone and control the two eyes and we have bone for the individual eyes. Uh, so we can just duplicate, we'll just set it back to the median, duplicate this bone, place it in the center, extrude it and make it the parent for this two bone. So this two small bone is parented to this big guy. Control P, keep, keep offset. So now, when you move this big guy, you can move the whole eye rig. And when you move this guy, you can move the entire eye rig. Um, so that's good. So let's say um, right now we don't have the full up the full character rig, but let's say this is the the head of the character. How, how do you connect the eye rig to the head of the character? So the setup is this two bone, these two main eye con. Um, I control bones, you parent it directly to the head. And then you also parent this big guy to the head bone. So that's just all the setup. So you can move this to the headboard and the eye goes along and you still have 
all the setup working um so um now let's um, add apply the paint weights so we can actually see it work the way you paint i am um, wet paint your eyes is quite straightforward so you, you, you just want to apply the weight paint so you just want these two bones to affect the eyes you don't care about the other controller bones you can even go as far as unchecking the form so that this bone actually don't have any influence on your geometry so they just act as controller bones okay um so now let's proceed to do that so we select this eye mesh and shift select this amateur and press ctrl p so instead of uh, setting it to automatic weight we're going to set it to weight uh we're going to set it to instead of setting it to automatic weight we're going to set it to empty um we're going to set it with empty groups so the reason for that is since it's a very small object we can actually paint it in manually um, without any stress so select your armature then shift select your object and we can go into the weight paint um Let's do that again. Let's see. For some reason, the weight paint is not showing. Okay, I think it's buggy. When you have your subdivision on, it tends to not show the weight paint for some reason. Um, so we can go into the weight paint. So as you can see, nothing is parent. No, nothing. No weight paint is assigned to any bone. So let's assign it. So select this bone. Go into edit mode. And select this particular bone um, so you since you have this bone selected you can just hit assign and let's do it for the other one select this one and hit assign so we have that this bone is selected to this object and this is assigned to this object and now uh, just select this guy with the rig so if we go into our Pause mode, we can just uh, move everything should be working. So you can move it around. So the reason I used the weights, the reason I um, just used the weight paint instead of parenting it like the normal way or parenting with constraint is because this offers um, better control. Um, let's say this is set. Um, this direction like it's not in the middle of the object and we move it so you can see it's not having a very nice rotation but with this kind of method you can always go inside and fix it um, without having any uh, repercussions so this method is the best way of actually um, parenting your object to your bone I don't know if I make sense <laughs> Uh, yeah, so that's basically it. So it's same drill goes for the eye lens object. You can just empty group, then you manually weight paint it. So I hope this tutorial was helpful to the guy that left the comments and the rest of you guys. Um, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you wish to see more from me. And don't forget to hit that like button if you really enjoyed this video. Okay, bye-bye for now. See you next time.